Hi, I am Erin, the Education Manager for GPA and your guide for all things Grant School. Grant School is recorded webinars designed by grant professionals to help further your education throughout your career. GPA wants you to become the best grant professional that you can be. Each webinar does cost, however, members have access to all archived webinars for free. If you aren't a member already, please consider joining today. This video is to help you set up your Grant School dashboard so you can have visible access to all things that you may need. If you do not know how to set up your account or register for courses, please watch the video linked here. So now we're going to actually go into an account and show you how to make your dashboard look exactly as you want it to look. So if you see, it should look similar to this. It may not look exactly like this when you sign in. Um, however, I'm going to show you how to maneuver things and make it look the way you want it to. So first, if you look in the top left corner, there's either a single box or a split box. This is just showing you your widgets. Um, which will be all the different things down here, such as um, documents, transcript, certi certifications, um, certificates, learning paths, calendar, um, things like that. So those are your widgets. Those are going to be your kind of bottom tiles that you can um, mess with. Right now, I have it in just single box mode, meaning it's just going to be a list. And you can maneuver these. So if you wanted to and you wanted to put your transcript on top, you can actually move it on top of the documents. So it is my top thing I see right now. They're all movable. Now, if you wanted to change it to a two column view, you would click this. Um, and now it's going to place it right now in a single column, but then you can maneuver it. So you can move documents up here. You can move certificates over here. Um, so everything is movable and usable exactly as you want it to look. Now, there are some things that are not necessarily usable right now. We don't have them linked to anything, so you don't need them on your screen. You can just get rid of them, kind of clean up your dashboard a little bit. If you would like to just get rid of cert my certifications, don't get rid of certificates, you'll want that. But certifications, you can right now. Um, learning paths, there will be learning paths in the very near future, so it's up to you if you want to leave this um, now or not. You can always get it back later, and I'll show you how. So let's say I just don't want it on my dashboard right now, and I click the X. Same thing with calendar. It's not really linked to anything, so I don't need to look at a calendar right now. Same thing with instructor-led trainings and discussion feed. Now, if for some reason later I'm like, well, I registered for a learning path. Now I don't see it on my dashboard. You can um, actually click it right here. So learning paths, all you have to do is right here where it says widgets, you can click the widget that says learning path. And now I have it again down here. So it's not gone for good. It's just gone off of your dashboard right now. Um, the other thing that you can adjust is your enrollments. So currently I have it as a tile view and you'll see your options up here in kind of the top right area. Um, one says tile view, one says list view. This is considered tile view with the rectangular tiles that show you all the different enrollments that you have. If you'd rather have it in list view, just again, user preference, you can click that. It might take a second to load it and it's gonna show it in lists. Um, and sometimes that may be easier for you if you'd rather look at it that way. You can sort the list right now. The really only thing to sort it by is course title. Um, Again, if there's a learning path later, you might be able to use that. But currently, course title is what you can sort them by. Now, so now you should have your dashboard set up exactly as you want it. Let's say you wanted it as a list. You can see all your courses. And you also want it down here as two columns. And you got rid of all the tiles you didn't need, the widgets you didn't need. And so now it's actually a workable space for you that matches exactly what you want. Um, again, the transcript is going to show you all the courses you complete, the date you completed them, as well as your course credits. Your documents are going to be anything that you um, received from enrolling in a course. So a lot of courses will have handouts that went with it, and they will all be listed here. So you'll have those. Um, and certificates are going to be once you complete the course, you'll get a certificate for the course, and you'll be able to print it, save it, uh, view it as uh, the PDF, any of those things here. Now, that is all I have for you today. It's just a quick how-to on how to set up your dashboard. If you have any questions on anything Grant School, I would be happy to help. If you just send me an email at erin at grantprofessionals.org, I would love to help you out. Again, thank you for watching this today. Send me an email if you need any help and um, enjoy Grant School. It's such a great um, tool to help you in your profession. Have a great day.